Hey, it's a nice day today. Why don't we go to San Diego? We could go to La Jolla, visit the caves over there. After that, we can go down to Balboa Park, visit a railroad museum. Yeah, sure. I guess that's one of the things we missed too when we went down there. Okay, that sounds good. <laughs> Good morning everybody, Marcel here for TFNG, Mila's behind the camera, and we are here in San Diego, where the weather is always nice, no matter whether it's cloudy or sunny. We're actually here in a place called La Jolla. We're going to go visit some caves, which um, back in the day used to be used for smuggling. After that, we're going to go visit a restaurant, we're going to go eat here, and then we're going to go move down to the San Diego Model Railroad Museum. It's going to be really interesting. We're going to go watch a bunch of uh, model trains and, uh, you know, go check out that. Then we're going to go top off the, the day with a visit at a place called Raised by Wolves, which is a speakeasy. So stick with us and let's go exploring. Folks, we're headed uh, towards the cave. This cave was um, used back in the day as oh, wow. uh, for smugglers. And I'm not sure if you guys can see. It's very dark in here. It's very cool. There are some spots here that are not lit. So be very careful. And it does feel kind of wet. So it's 145 steps and it leads down to the cave. So a little bit of history on this thing. It's been around for a while. The cave itself is nicknamed Sunny Jim. And the person that gave that name was L. Frank Baum, the guy that actually wrote The Wizard of Oz. And uh, he gave it that name because, and I hopefully we see, we'll see it here, the cave kind of looks like a silhouette of the character Sunny Jim, which is a character that's on a, a cereal box. It's kind of like how he saw the, the entrance to the cave. And the cave itself it was used for several things, including smuggling back in the day. Wow, we can hear the waves. I don't know if you guys can hear the waves here. So there it is. See the picture or the entrance of the cave. Okay, we're gonna head back. Got your head here. Mm -hmm. Very low. I know. You can see I'm a short person and it's it's still gonna hit my head. Yeah. Okay, time to make the long trek up. Gotta watch your head down there. There's a really low rock. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. So, yeah. Do you think we can make the stairs in one shot? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a little too high. Look at that. It's so steep. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm already getting tired. It's a good thing the steps are not that high. Yeah. The railing is really wet. Yeah. So if you guys come down here, make sure you're prepared for that. Shoes that can walk 
uneven wood stairs that are wet. The railing is wet. How are you doing down there? Okay. Yeah. Oh boy. Ah, that's it. We made it. Oh boy. Yeah, I did it. Yeah. And you only took one break. <laughs> Oh hey, how are you guys doing? We are here at Brockton Villa Restaurant. It's the place that we had planned on for brunch. Um, we were actually early for our reservation and they went ahead and seated us right away. So that was really nice. As you can see out here, it's uh, really nice now. The sun has come out, the fog has burned off or the clouds have burned off. We were out over there by the cove and it is packed. We're glad we got here really early. So guys, a little bit of background about this restaurant. It was recommended by a, a couple of friends of ours that are local here to San Diego. This place, it was one of the original beach cottages around here. A physician bought it back in the 1890s and he bought it for only $165. Can you guys imagine that? Here in La Jolla, $165? Oh my God. From then it became one of the uh, it spots for restaurants. Um, as you guys can see here on the view, it's fantastic. It's like right next to the water. You get fantastic view, especially right here where we're at, our table. This is a really nice uh, table spot that we got. They offer brunch every day from 9 till about um, 3 p.m. and also till 4 p.m. on the weekends. So we're here on a weekday, it's a Friday, so it's 9 to 3 today. They also offer small bites um, in their dinner menu. Um, we haven't been here for dinner, we're just here for brunch, so maybe one of these days uh, we'll go over here for dinner. This is our first time here. We looked at the menu and it looked like there's quite a bit of selection for breakfast menu and the lunch menu. We chose to do the breakfast, it's still morning time, so that's what we're doing right now. Ooh, look at my bowl! Ah, it looks good! Oh my gosh. And All right, folks. Marcel's... Um, Standard favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I have eggs here and I have potatoes in there. Ooh, that looks good. And my sausages. Can Thank you. Can I also you. have an extra butter, please? Of course. Thanks. And my avo. Ooh, can't wait. Uh, it looks good. So our server was telling us that this bread is uh, from a local bakery and um, all their breads from the local bakery. That's supposed to be good, he said. Yeah. Yeah. Don't talk bad about him, he's coming. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> anyway, that was our server and he said, yeah, the, the bread is local and it's, uh, it's good. All the bread, the different types of toast 
they're all uh, they're all from uh, that that uh, bakery. So. Hey guys, we're over here in Balboa Park. We're over here to go check out the uh, Model Railroad Museum. It's uh, another one of our stops for today. And the museum's mission is to provide a history and heritage of uh, railroads in America. It's also a great place for uh, the family, lots of activities for the kids and uh, generally an educational place. So here we are, let's go check it out. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, perfect. Sorry. It's okay. Oh. Thanks. Wow. You can see um, there's a couple of people back there behind the models, and they're the ones that are taking care of, you know, the models and uh, running them. And if you're here and you have questions about these things, you can actually ask them questions. It's a de depiction of the mountains around, I guess, the um, Central Valley of California. Tehachapi subdivision. Wow, that's big. That's a big landscape. Wow, check this one out. This one is cool. Ah, this one, the trains are bigger. It looks like these guys that are um, the engineers, I guess, is what you would call them. They look like they're just playing around, don't they? Oh. But this is so cool. That guy over there, I don't know if you can see him. Um, he's holding the controller, I believe. So he's making sure there's no accidents on the tracks. This place is not very big, but it certainly is something to, to see. Um, if you're in the Balboa Park area, you definitely need to come and see this. Um, if you're in the military, it's like $8. Uh, otherwise, general admission is, I believe, I want to say 17 but don't quote me on that. It's not bad right now as far as... Um, people are concerned there's not too many um not sure oh wow look at this one this one is cool ah right timing this is definitely somewhere in in california Interesting fact. It's um, Rod Stewart. It says um, he has been featured in the cover of Model Railroad magazine. I guess he's an avid model railroader. That for sure I didn't know. This is cool. This is the old airport or what it used to be. Definitely not like that anymore. 
It's hardly an airport looking, huh? Hi, is there a fee to get in here? Well, we're donation based, so pay what you wish. Oh, okay. Yeah. Did you want to check it out? Sure, what are the kind of the highlights? So we have two exhibits going on right now. Mm -hmm. One is the Beginnings Forever. It's from our sister museum, Ingenious Design. Mm -hmm. It's going to be in Japan. Oh, wow. And it has a historical exhibit that's going to be in Japan. Mm -hmm. And then we have the Beginnings Forever Museum that's going to be in Japan. And then we also have uh, Darkest Nights by the Stars, which oh, wow. is our uh, local youth exhibition. Oh. Like we're, we made it to the Japanese section of the museum. I guess these are um, photographs from uh, uh, artists in Japan, photographers in Japan. <laughs> Summer at Balboa Park. Looks like a lot of people here right now. I guess summer in San Diego with all the, the tourists. Very busy right now. Look at this. Look at this plant. That is pretty. This is the scene just right outside the <coughs> railroad museum where we just came from, and uh, and uh, what's the other museum? We just did photographic uh, photographic art museum of art. photographic art. So folks, we went to the Japanese Friendship Garden, and the line was so long; it wasn't even moving. It looked like the line might be going on for like like hour, an hour <laughs> or more. So. We decided we were just going to head on. Um, also, because we have uh, reservations at Raised by Wolves, yeah, which is the speak easy place. So we decided, okay, it's Friday afternoon. It's probably going to be traffic heading back up there. We'll go ahead and hit the Japanese Friendship Garden some other time. Take a look around. Looks really nice. Definitely has that old speakeasy feel to it. folks we're in here uh, hopefully you're getting us it's kind of noisy in here which is expected and this is quite the atmosphere if you guys are looking for that <clears throat> if you guys are looking for that nice uh, unusual speak easy atmosphere or nice atmosphere uh, 
This is the place. So, um, got done with the speed easy. It was kind of a nice place. We highly recommend it. Um, we decided, uh, since it was kind of late, we didn't really want to catch traffic back home. So, we just went to a local place. It's called um, Tokaya. Tokaya. Or it's kind Tako of. Takoya? Tokaya. Oh. Tokaya. Tokaya. Yeah. So we went to uh, Tokai. Thank you. Thank you. So as we were saying, we went to a place, uh, this place is called Tokaya. It's also here at UTC Mall here in San Diego. And um, we're just having some Mexican food. Uh, real decent prices. Um, we'll put links uh, down in the uh, description below. And that's pretty much it. This is going to be our dinner. Here we have chips and salsa. Mm. After a couple of drinks, this chips and salsa is good. Yeah. <laughs> but, oh, guys, that is one thing. Um, the bar is pretty easy. It's absolutely just a bar. There are no food, there's no snacks, there's no nothing. So, just be aware of that. You know, it's, it's strictly a bar. You go in there, you get your drinks, and you move on to dinner or whatever else you have going on. But at the same time, it's a lot of fun. People seem like they're having fun when, when we were in there. Mm -hmm. But because it's only a bar, the turnaround of customers is pretty fast. Mm -hmm. I'd say yeah. an hour, if that. Mm -hmm. It is a small place, though. Yeah. But it's really cool. Mm -hmm. That atmosphere, you gotta experience it at least once. So. Not in her shoes, then. Turn the camera on, guys. So I had two tacos, um, chorizo and shrimp. And the different styles. I think this is the barrio style, and this is the baja style. And I also got my um, a street corn. So they took it off the cob and put uh, cheese and spices. Um, it's pretty good. I like the, the little bite of the spice to it. Not super spicy, but it definitely has a little bit of a bite to it. So the taco that I got is the, the chicken tinga. I think it's what I'm, mm -hmm. I'm eating right now. So it, and it's pretty good. I like the uh, the tortilla. They make it really fresh. Mm -hmm. So um, and it's really soft, corny. <laughs> uh, and like Marcel said, the, the corn, the um, street corn, is, is good, I like it. Mm. 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 So it's not a large size, it's basically street taco size, which is the smaller tortilla shell. Um, as far as the shells go, as Mila said, the shells are perfect. They look like they're homemade corn tortillas and they just came fresh. Alright guys, I think we're going to wrap it up right here. Tokaya, right there. Good place. It was, uh, I mean, I mean for, for being at UTC, this is kind of a high-end mall. Yeah, it is. So for being at a high-end mall with all the expensive restaurants and shops around here, I think uh, I think it was a pretty good deal. So again, folks, Marcel here for TFNG. And Mila. If you like this video, give it a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that uh, we can keep bringing you videos like this.
we're going to sign off. See you guys later.